Hey y'all, I'm getting ready to do my hair and this video is going to be how to create a curly pixie. So my hair is washed in condition. I'm using my Nairobi which I always use. And I always use a lot. And I'm just putting it through evenly. All the way. And then I take a watch with comb. I'm using a pick because I don't know where my watch with comb is. Just to kind of get the hair going in the direction I want so I'm not pulling so much when I use the um smaller tooth comb. Oh, my nail is snagging. So Take a small comb. And I want like a deep side part. So I'm going like that. You probably can't see the part now, but it's right there. And then I want this to go like this. I'm getting money. They hit me the nail on me. All right, so I'm just molding it down. My hair is really shedding, which it does at this time of year. All right, so that's the basic direction. I'm still gonna kind of make a center. I don't really want to call it a part. It's more of like a guide, and. I'm going to make it a little deeper than I normally do. That's deeper than I normally do. Because I want the curls to sit a certain kind of way. Like this. So I'm combing everything down flat. Now I'm going to make sure my edges are swooped really good because it's going to be curly. So in my opinion, when you have these curly looks, it looks really, really nice when the edges are exaggerated. So I'm taking the comb and I'm going down and then I'm pushing with my hand to smooth the kind of S shape that I'm making. And I'm just making another one down here with my ear. So it's going like this. I love my lighting off. So this is going to go like that. You can see it when I do it like that. See that? You see that? I'm going to calm this down so that I can... The rest of it I'm just going to... Leave flat. I'm gonna use the flat iron curl back. Is you know sweaty. So I do the side like that. I'll do this this way. I like the three peaks in the back, so that's just what I do. And go this way so I don't get out of frame. And then with this, I like to kind of. Curl it up too, like that. So when it dries, it will all look. Um, it'll have a lot of wave to it. My whole head is will have a lot of wave to it, and then also when I curl it, it'll just help it with that curly look to have those little sides like that. Just gotta make sure everything's flat. All right, y'all. I'm back. It's all dry. Now you can see what I was saying. How I got it. Uh, it's it's a part, but it won't be a part when I curl it. And uh, how this worked itself out. And look at the back. I haven't even looked. Oh yeah, it's good, it's good, it's good. Okay, so I'm getting ready to curl it. I use grapeseed oil or olive oil. This just so happened to be grapeseed oil today. I have to make sure I hit that middle. Hit that middle. 
my scalp is out of control right now but oh well teals with the teals I like to break them out a little bit too when I'm oiling it because you know you're doing this you put oil on top you got to get you know in there and make sure there's oil in all parts of the hair so it might look like a lot but it's not it's like that and I like to just go back in like I said break that up and make sure I'm getting in there and do the sides that's what gives you that nice you know look and when your hair is dark like mine is the oil helps it look thicker and fuller all of that and because my scalp is so bad I'm gonna put a little bit on my scalp oh god it feels so good what would that feel good this okay. one which is a curl master it says this is something I got from Sally's but it's real thin it's actually portable if it weren't hot I would show you you can pull these plates down and travel with it and then my Jill Bear tourmaline which is so nasty and old but this thing is the bomb.com it works so good I use it in top part of my hair I don't longer. use heat protectants and all that stuff I feel like they weigh my hair down and they make my hair sticky they coat the hair I don't like that my hair holds a curl so I don't need that and yeah I just you know I just curl my hair and then afterwards if I want to hold I'll put some holding spray or pomade or something similar um, if I want or need a hold so with this look I'm gonna go with the curls going forward so the curls are going to be going in this motion that's why I made my part a little deeper and I'm going to start with the bigger flat iron and I'm going to make my curl a little bit wider than normal I don't know if you can see that but that's how wide they are like I said now I'm going to curl these tight because I'm going for a curly look so you want to really curl it and sit the curl on its base if you see how I have that right there that's what you want just like that like so y'all see that Okay, so in this one I'm going to curl in the opposite direction because I won't fool on somebody. But it's the same technique. I'm taking it and I'm starting to curl real low because I want the whole piece actually curl. Pulling it up and sitting it on itself. Like that. Yeah, I'm just going to keep going down. I'm going to go down farther than normal because this is a curly look. So I want those tight curls down here. Okay, I'm back because I finished these rows and I'm on the side now. This is what I had before. All I did was stick this comb in it. So I parted like this. These pieces are going to be narrower. They're not going to be as wide as this part, but they're still going to be thick. So I just figured I would film a couple of these. In this piece, I'm going to go this way because I want the curls to be fuller. And so this Pop. row right here, I'm going to curl them still tight, but I'm going to curl them going this way in that direction. Then when I get here, I'll curl them going down and it'll all blend together. Okay. So now I'll curl that whole row going up that way in that direction going up. Now this is going to go down. So what I do with this is the pieces are wide this way. So they're wide from front to back. They're more narrow here, but they're wider from here to here. This is a long piece. And I take the smaller curling iron so I can get a tight curl. And this is what I mean. You put the curling iron at the base, but then you pull it up. So that when you get that full curl and you let it go, it'll sit on itself. See that? So you put the curling iron on there and then you go up. All right, this is where the part is. That deep part I made. But this section is always important in my opinion. No matter what style you're doing. Because it, it ultimately defines the shape, the overall shape of the style that you're going for. 
I'm going to curl this piece down. I think I can get away with this big one. So that piece went that in that direction. Ugh. This is the part. So when you look at me this way, I want this to have that deep part. But when I turn, I don't want this to be smushed either. Or have this piece going up when it should be going down and mess up the shape. So then what I'm going to do is grab this piece and I do it a part like this. And that is like that majorly important piece before that swoop. You do what you want. Meaning some people like that look of having it flat right there and then rising up. Some people want this to all look more full going in that direction. Whatever you want to do, do. But just be aware of the fact that this is a very vital piece. And for me, I want this piece going this this will all blend you really won't see that part and then these pieces I'm going to keep curling but I'm going to be curling like diagonally like this because that's how I want the curls to flow and when I get to this piece up here I'll be going diagonally in this direction I'll be parting like this diagonally and my curls will be going like that this piece I'll be parting this way and my curls will be going that's like the that. diagonal part Grab this same technique over your whole head. Now these pieces, like I said, are going to be diagonal in this direction. And I'm going to curl them down like this. This direction. It's the same technique, even though that's a much, much shorter piece of hair. See it? Still the same round curl. Okay, this is the back. This is how the rolls look in the back. I can't really see. There we go. It's just roll, 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 roll of hard curls. And I'm right here. So I'm just going to keep going. Down, down, down. Hard curls. Right here. Down, down, down. This side is done. I'm going to do this little piece right here. And then I'll come back and style it. What I do is... I use a lot of oil when I do a curly style, more than normal. So some more oil. Because it's almost like you want a like wet look, you know, kind of. But not wet. But you want it to look real like moist and yeah, I know. Now I just play around with it until I get well, and because I curled it so tight I can do stuff like see how this is like out all I have to do is redirect it it's going to go in the direction I want it to go in this is going to go up there because I curled it so tight I'm going to do this like that and just grab pieces and you know make sure that it's it is a curly look in the top i don't know if y'all can see is my lining there we go like that i'm just twisting taking it and wrapping it around my finger in pieces like this so that is super curly and it's in all different directions do that. I mean, you could literally like redirect the hair any way you want it to go. And then the back, I like to just kind of take my fingers like this, like a claw, and just finger finger through it a little. But because I wrapped when I wrapped it, I combed it straight down, so I don't want to try to go in a 
you know, diagonal motion. I'm going to still go down for the most part, but just break through like that. Make these pieces real curly. Accentuate that deep part. And that's it. It's real nice and curly. Really full. Really pretty. I think. And then I check my shape always, like, get the mirror, turn to each side so I can see. The shape is still good. All over. That's it. So, this is my curly pixie tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you want it to be, you want to have a little bit of hold, I always use a Sebastian Shaper. And uh, I'm going to spray it a little bit. Just lightly though, like I hold it pretty far away. Like this. That's it. Oh, I hate inhaling this stuff. Oh, ew. I like that stuff, but I do not like the way it smells. It's stinky. And then while it's wet, you can definitely like redirect curls and lay them in the direction you want them to go. Alrighty. That's it. Voila. Peace.